Hey guys, welcome to another special episode. Today is another behind the box video with my aquarium box. And today we are going to unbox the Freshwater July 2017 my aquarium box, as well as the Cichlid box. So let's just jump right into it. And hopefully we can get a good close up on these items because there's some pretty cool things to take a look at this month. All right, as always, the first thing we start with is the scorecard. And this shows you everything that's included in the box, as well as two ways to win. The first is the Mega Box Contest, sponsored by Marineland. All you have to do is an unboxing video like this one. Use the hashtag MyAquariumBox when you upload that to YouTube, and you're automatically entered to win. Another way is on Facebook. If you take a picture, of all of the items that were in your box and uploaded to our Facebook page, you are automatically entered to win a free box. The Mega Box, you get big prizes from Marineland. With the Facebook contest, you get a free box. And on the very bottom is our small business spotlight this month is Steve Poland Cichlids. If you guys don't know, Steve Poland has a YouTube channel, makes weekly videos about his fish room and all of his cichlids, and he has a t-shirt website where you can buy aquarium related t-shirts so definitely go check that out on the back is a list of all of our sponsors so thank you again to all of our sponsors without you my aquarium box would not be possible all right now let's jump into this freshwater box first thing is a coupon five dollars off your fish stuff food and then we have a sample food from hikari these are the micro wafers good for your freshwater fish. First item in the box is an Elite sponge filter. And these are actually really interesting sponge filters. A lot of sponge filters these days um, are have a weighted base and they sit on the bottom of your aquarium. This one actually has suction cups and it suctions to the side of the tank which means the sponge filter stays up out of your substrate, out of the way, uh, fairly low profile and uh, makes a great um, filter to add as a, like a supplemental filter in your tank or if you have a hospital tank that you need to set up or a quarantine tank you can always pull this out of your main tank and put that uh, into a, a new tank just to help cycle it or to uh, help it along so very cool item there next up and this is a tight fit we have a marina beta waste remover and essentially this is a turkey baster uh, good for your small beta tanks to remove waste from the bottom it's also great for spot feeding for uh, corals or uh, some of your finicky fish or anything like that uh, I use these on a daily basis mostly to feed and mostly to uh, pick up waste uh, on the bottoms of my aquariums so great thing to have around and uh, it means you don't have to steal the one from the kitchen because that would be gross all right, next item up is something that I am super excited to try out. These are Sarah O-Nip food tablets. These come from Germany, and essentially what you do is you pop a little tablet out, and you can stick it right to the glass or the acrylic in your tank, and then your fish are able to feed on that slowly over time. Grazing is a great way to feed your fish and uh, Sarah O'Nip tabs are one of the best options out there. All right, next item is wrapped up in a piece of paper. And this is a Pleco slash shrimp brick. This is a brand new product from Pleco Caves. Uh, you can't get this anywhere except the My Aquarium box. So uh, it's nice to have exclusive items in my aquarium box and essentially what you can do is put this in the back of one of your tanks and uh, it gives three nice little hidey hole places for your small plecos or your shrimp so that your larger fish uh, can't get a bite at them so very very cool little item uh, this is something that we actually requested that pleco caves make for us and uh, this is the end result here so very very cool to see it uh, come to life and uh, to see my aquarium box members be the first ones to uh, get this thing and try it out if you have like a million more of these things you can make a super tiny little house too <laughs> 
And the last item is a aquarium journal. Now, anyone that has an aquarium should be keeping notes. Anyone that has an aquarium should probably be planning their next aquarium. And so this aquarium journal is a great way for you to sketch out all of your little DIY projects. It's a great way to keep track of all of the parameters in your tanks. Keep notes on uh, the next tank that you want to set up, maybe what the inhabitants are, what the equipment is uh, involved in that tank. So that is the freshwater My Aquarium box for the month of July. What I'm gonna do is set this stuff aside real quick and we can move on to the cichlid box. Now, here we go. Some of the items in the cichlid box are the same. Again, here's the scorecard. Check that out. We've got a catalog of fish foods from Ocean Nutrition. Gives you a good idea of all of the different foods you can get from Ocean Nutrition. They've got a lot of frozen foods and uh, sometimes your stores don't carry all of them, but if you ask for a specific one, they might be able to get it in stock. Again, we've got a coupon from your fish stuff. And again, we have the same sponge filter. Next up is a bulkhead. This is a one inch bulkhead. Uh, it's threaded on the outside and then it's slip on the inside. Uh, and this one inch bulkhead is a great size for most aquarium projects. Now, if you've never drilled a tank before, this is your opportunity because we also included a 45 mil hole saw, uh, diamond hole saw with this bulkhead. Um, so if you have a glass tank and make sure it's not tempered, you can use this hole saw in a drill to very slowly and carefully uh, drill a hole through the tank and then use this one inch bulkhead in that hole that you've drilled. I would try it on a tank larger than 10 gallons, uh, especially if you're new to it. And there's plenty of videos on how to drill a glass tank. So two items that you should definitely try out if you've never done that in the past. Again, we've got a sample of food. This is a Fluval Bug Bites. And our food item for the month is Agcor Herbivore Sticks. So this is great for uh, any of your African cichlids that are herbivores. Try that out. They're big enough sticks that your bigger fish can get to them. You can always crumble them up into smaller sizes if you need to. And again, last item. Didn't want anyone to miss out on the aquarium journal. All right guys, and that's it for the cichlid box for the month of July. If you'd like to check out My Aquarium Box, you can go to myaquariumbox.com to uh, check out our options. We've got fresh water, we've got cichlid, and we've got salt water options. If this was your first month's box, your items might be slightly different from these. That's because you got a welcome box, and uh, that's filled with even more items and an even higher value thanks to our sponsors. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.